Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Code for Tech Solutions. Ever wondered how Netflix, NASA or even your favorite mobile apps run so smoothly 24 by 7 all over the world and the secret is AWS, Amazon Web Services. And in just few minutes you will know exactly what AWS is, why it matters and how you can start using it today even if you are a complete beginner. So let us start simple. Imagine you want to launch a website or an application. Traditionally, you would have to buy expensive servers, set them up and maintain them. But what if you could just rent powerful computers from Amazon, pay only for what you use or scale up or down instantly. That's cloud computing on demand access to computing resources over the internet. When I first heard about AWS, I thought it was only for big tech companies, but the truth is it's a powerful tool for anyone including beginners like you and me a few years ago. So in simple term, if you want to understand what is cloud computing, instead of storing data or running apps on your laptop or company servers, you use someone else computer in the cloud via the internet. It's like renting computer power, storage and services whenever you need them and only paying for what you use. No maintenance, no huge upfront cost or just pure scalability and flexibility. So this is exactly what cloud computing is. It is on-demand delivery of computing services, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet. It enables individuals and organizations to access and scale IT resources flexibly, efficiently, cost-effectively, paying only for what they use, and eliminating the need to own or manage physical infrastructure. So there are two main points like uh, we need to pay only for what services we use and the another point which is most important that we don't need to buy any hardware or manage the physical infrastructure or the services that we use because if you have a small team or small company or it is just a startup company with small team then they should afford the services what AWS provide. So they will use, they will pay for only the services they use from the Amazon and they, they don't need to even manage uh, the physical infrastructure hardware or the resources or services. So let us come to our main point and that is what is AWS? Amazon Web Services. So AWS is the world most comprehensive and widely adopted cloud platform provided by Amazon offering over 200 fully featured services from data centers globally. So in short, like AWS is basically a cloud platform that provides a number of services that can be consumed by the individuals or company or the organization. It provides on-demand cloud computing platforms and APIs to individuals, companies and governments, allowing them to access the services. It is like pay as you go, uh, go pricing. That means you can only pay for, pay for the services that you have used. So this is about the main points of the AWS. You need to keep in mind that it is a cloud platform which provides the number of services and that can be consumed by the individual company or the organization and they need to pay as, as per the services they have used. Now let us understand some of the most important and popular AWS services. First is the EC2 instance like uh, uh, it is for virtual servers to run apps and websites. So you can think of it like uh, renting a virtual computer or server to run your applications. Next is the S3 which can help to store files, images and videos securely. So it is a secure place to store files, backups, images and videos. Next is RDS, it's a managed database service, MySQL, PostgreSQL and more without the head IT of setup. So it is basically a managed database, so no need to install or patch anything. Next is the Lambda service, so run code without managing servers, great for automating tasks. Like uh, we can run code without managing servers, that means it is a serverless architecture, so we don't need uh, to manage the server uh, if we use the Lambda service. Next is the cloud front, uh, a global content delivery network that loads your website faster worldwide. So it is a CDN, content delivery network. And next is a IAM, it securely control who can access your AWS resources. 
so IAM is also important because it will uh, provide security to our AWS resources. So this is about the most uh, uh, important services. Although AWS provides number of services, these are some notable and important AWS services. Now AWS is trusted by some of the biggest names in tech. So let us see some real world use cases who uses AWS. So Netflix streams content is using AWS servers. Airbnb hosts its web apps on AWS. NASA stores space mission data using AWS cloud storage and even government and bank trust AWS for secure infrastructures. So whether you are a startup or a fortune 500 company, AWS scales to meet your needs. So these are some important use cases in the real world. Now let us see why should you learn AWS in 2025. So these are some important, most important points. We can say it is high in demand because cloud skills are some of the most sought after in tech jobs. Certifications like AWS cloud practitioners can jumpstart your IT career. And finally, it's a future proof. Like most modern apps are moving to the cloud. So in that sense, if you want to become a developer, cloud engineer, DevOps specialist, or even a startup founder, Learning AWS is a massive advantage. So I hope you must have enjoyed this. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much for watching this.